and we're up and running. Here we go. All right. What's up, everybody? Here we go. Big show. That is loud. That is loud. Here we are. My microphone's going to fall off. Do that like that ish. Like that. Here we go. On a three day weekend. They're majestic. Wide open. Did I mention three day weekend? That's me. Why am I having such a hard time hearing myself, Bree? Can, am I coming on it? There I am. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Bree. Was I just that far down? You just had me potted down? Can I get a little fired up? I blow some mics out every now and again. I do. I get fired up. But welcome. It, it is a guy. What, for me? Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding me? This poor guy. Poor Matt. He's, he's such a great videographer and a great video editor. And every time we go out and do anything, I just... It, <laughs> He goes, okay, man, I need a mic check because you just you about blew my speaker out right there. Because I get fired up. I get a little excited. I love what I do. They pay me to do this. It's silly. I can't, now we can't hear you. What are you doing? This is what you do. You have one job, Bree. Yes, there's a lot of buttons. Yes. Holy cow. Well, welcome. I'm so glad to be here with you guys on a three-day weekend. Thank you for spending some time with us. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, carving some time out of your weekend. I know it is, it's It's going to be a little warm. Let's let's call it that, what it is. Is it 90s or the 90s of the 90s? It just is what it is. It's Arizona. It's not like this sneaks up on us. We know this is coming here every single year. And here it is. It is upon us. I, but okay, are you really? Because I think once it hits 97, 98, and then 108, it's the same. It's the same. It's just hot. Yeah. Yeah, like 90 something. Are we 92, Sack? What are we getting? 98 today. So we're tickling the triple digits. I mean, it's just taunting them, teasing them. It's like you remember with your, with your siblings? I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Oh, it's so annoying. I know, because I'm on Facebook Live. I'm on Facebook Live. We're excited to have everybody joining us. Yes, that's right. We poke fun. <clears throat> okay, anyway. I Thank you. I, I appreciate that. I'm trying. I, I don't guarantee the jokes. Uh, we're going to keep it running. Uh, we've been talking about cool Father's Day gifts uh, for a while now, for a couple of weeks. And uh, as I mentioned, we're going to recap those that we have already discussed. And then we're going to bring you some new stuff. Okay? Check this out. At the end of the show, by the way, we're wrapping up this entire program, the 2 o'clock hour. I'm sorry, the 1 o'clock hour, 2 o'clock. Sorry, that's whiny. That's okay. Uh, in the 1 o'clock hour, takes out at 1.30. Guess who's uh, get, jumping on the phone with us? Uncle Ted. Ted Nugent himself is going to be on the horn with us. It's so How about that? How cool is that? Oh, my gosh. He said he missed me because I was his spirit brother. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I'm totally name dropping right now. So name dropping. It's okay. It's Ted Nugent. He's going to be joining us. Ted Nugent is going to be with us. I'm very excited about that. But how about that? He's coming on uh, July uh, 1st at the Celebrity Theater. So we'll, how about that for a cool Father's Day gift? How about tickets to see Uncle Teddy? That is bananas. That show, by the way, is wheels off crazy. Absolutely crazy. It's an experience. It's not just, you know, a guy up there playing guitar, maybe singing a couple songs. It's you better buckle up for that one. So, uh, you know, we kicked off this whole Father's Day thing with uh, our, our friends. Mitch uh, Mitch Leitner was here from Gila Hollow's Duck Club uh, with that probably one of the coolest ideas around. When duck season comes around, uh, a $200 guided hunt. I mean, and that's like show up and eat some donuts, have some coffee, and then birds show up. And they've got the decoys out. They've got the, they've got the blinds. And it's right up the road. It's right up the road. You don't have to go anywhere. It's like it's Buckeye. Oh, Buckeye adjacent. It's it's right there. It's it's in Buckeye area, West Valley. Two hundred bucks. Love that. And uh, Coach Marquez. By the way, I talked to uh, I talked to Coach Tony today, and he said that Django's doing really well. But he had a, he had a little report. It was like a parent teacher conference. It really was. And for those of you joining us on Facebook Live, uh, Django is uh, my hunting puppy. He's at uh, hunting school right now, and Coach Tony Marquez is uh, is really helping us out and doing a great job. But it was a parent teacher conference. It's, okay, you you've got an advanced child here. He's very good at what he does. He has birds on the brain. But my goodness, is he stubborn. He is a stubborn, stubborn doggy. He's a very, very strong-headed dog. And is what it, yeah, yeah, but uh, don't worry. 
<laughs> Don't worry. He's now he's now in Coach Tony's world. He said the first half of our training was, you know, let him, you know, get the basics down. And then the uh, second half, he's no longer going to be a puppy. He's, he's in Coach Tony's world now, and it's going to, Django's going to learn how to respect his elders. Well, of course he's, he is a dog. What if he's turning into a dog? Exactly. Help me out here. What? He's a dog. Yeah. He's going to be a dog. He's going to be a dog. Okay. Right. That is. Yeah, well, and, and by the way, so if, if you want to, if you got a dog, you think, hey, there's going to be a hunting dog. I want to be a hunting dog. You got a hunting dog. Maybe you want a little tune up. You got to get it out there to Desert Creek Gun Dog Kennels. You got to talk to Tony Marquez out in Buckeye because he'll just give you a little tune up. That's a cool Father's Day gift too, right? Yeah, Dad, you remember when you trained that dog and you've done nothing with it, but you want to go hunting this year? Take him on out there and check him out. Tony Marquez, good guy right there. And uh, what do we have that we have? Oh, Sea Samurai. Hi. I was out with the Sea Samurai last weekend. Very exciting. Uh, out in the Pacific Ocean, out in La Jolla. Uh, let's, well, I'm going to cover the whole experience a little bit later. But, uh, but he's got a great guide service, a great thing. If uh, Everybody goes to San Diego for the summer, right? I think it's a, re a requirement, right? Yeah, you have to go to San Diego if you live in Arizona. I, I'm from California. I, I learned that when I moved here, that everybody just goes to San Diego, which is a great choice. Uh, go to San Diego. So if you do that, book a trip with the Sea Samurai. I'm telling you, it's amazingly affordable. It's almost embarrassingly affordable. Uh, as you get two people, two dose, two people guided on the water in kayaks, 330 bucks. Two people. He does everything. He gets the bait. He, by the way, he calls it making bait. That's what they call it. He goes out and catches bait. He goes, we got to make bait. And it says this deadpan. It's just, just, we got to make bait. And my kids are always making up silly songs, and I love it. I love it that they're doing that. They take existing songs and they make up silly songs, and I don't know why, but I was annoying the heck out of Kevin the entire day because we're just kind of cruising along in the Hobies out there in the ocean. is great. And I'm like, Kevin Nakata making bait. Hey! And he just, and I kept saying it. And he said, he started shooting me a look every now and again. I'm like, what, kid? Just deal with it. Just deal with it. Kevin Nakata making bait. Yeah. Oh, it was, I can imagine how annoying I was. Uh, then we had Michael Lindstrom in here. Uh, Michael Lindstrom wrote an amazing book. He co-authored uh, What's Your Story? Uh, uh, discovered the, the story behind your dad. Uh, I'm sorry, the man behind your dad. And you got to check this out on Amazon. I'm telling you, it's by the way, it's like 30% off or something. It's like 11 bucks for presale right now. That's awesome. Hardback book. This is a legit book. Uh, What's Your Story? You got to check it out. Michael Lindstrom uh, is the co author. And basically, it is, I want to say, a, a conversation starter, right? Conversation starter with your dad, your grandfather, your uncle, your any, the, 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 the guy in your life, right? It's a conversation starter and almost a uh, an interview technique on how to discover cool stories, and you get to document these stories. Way, way cool stuff. He did mention the app when he was here. It's not it's not available, but, but he did mention it on air, so I can I can say there might be an app coming soon too. But you got to get the book first. Got to check it out. What's your story? Uh, discover the man behind your dad, uh, Michael Lindstrom. Check it out on Amazon. So cool stuff, right? Outside of the box stuff. Uh, we're also going to talk concert tickets, obviously, with Uncle Ted. And then uh, today, uh, Eric Boatner is going to be here from Canyon Coolers. If you dig Yeti, you everybody hear Yeti, right? Even that. Silly country song. You can buy me a boat. Yeah, it talks about a Yeti 110 ice down with some silver bullets, right? Uh, Yeti's a big deal. And these are the roto-molded coolers, okay? They're kind of seen now as the big the big player in the space, like the, the ones that were there first, kind of the brand out there. How about a local brand doing the same thing? A local company. And by the way, some of the stats, better than Yeti. Canyon Cooler is going to be right here in studio. I'm very excited about these guys. I met them out at the uh, Arizona Game and Fish Expo. Wow. Holy cow. That's, uh, it was really, really cool. Really cool stuff. It was good to get to see those guys. So they'll be here as well. And what else do we got going on? Oh, my gosh. Sheriff Babu. Did you hear about this? We've got to talk about this. Of course, you heard about it, Sack. You probably reported on it. Uh, Sheriff Babu has a warning for you. If you're heading down south to his neck of the woods, down to Pinal County, he has some advice for you in this three-day weekend, and it might surprise you. I wrote a little article for it on KTR.com, and I'll tell you this. Um... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I just noticed on Facebook Live here, uh, uh, Becky uh, Boko, who's who was here uh, in studio a few weeks ago. <laughs> she said her dog needs a tune-up. Remember the story she was telling about her? Holy yes, a tune-up is such an understatement. But I love that. 
Uh, but anyway, uh, Sheriff Babu has some uh, some some advice for you. And I wrote an article, and it went bananas. So we'll talk to you about the comments as well. And uh, Katie Couric, you know her, the lovable one from the Today Show. Remember her, Katie Couric? Oh, so lovable. And then she was the host of, uh, she anchored like CBS Evening News or something like that. First female, totally awesome. Uh, she has a documentary about guns in America, and she got busted. And I'm talking busted. I'm going to have that audio for you next. All right, here we go. What do we got going on here? Uncle Ted, yeah. How about that? Okay, seriously. It's, yeah, Uncle Ted, last time he was on the show with us, it was absolutely crazy. Crazy. I made the, I, unfortunately, I said uh, something about Nancy Pelosi. <clears throat> wow. Uh, the stuff he said we had to bleep out. It was, it was crazy. And just set them up. The funny thing is, you, you ask, you ask Uncle Ted, like, three questions, half hour of content. He just talks and talks and talks. But everything he's saying is smart, it's intelligent, and it's off the cuff, which makes it super, super impressive. So, a lot of fun there as well. New trout, the tiger trout, right? Yeah, they're going to throw in some tight. They've been throwing in tiger trout around the uh, around the, the state. I don't know much about it. Uh, we got to get um, uh, Jonathan Odell in here to talk to us about that stocking program. So let me make a note of that. That's a good idea. Get John tiger trout. John O. Tiger trout. Awesome. There we go. Okay, good. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate you guys playing along. This is a, this is a whole lot of fun. We'll keep this going for another segment. Then I get the Canyon Cooler guys in here, and it's weird because you won't be able to see them all at the same time. Yes, that was me dancing. What else is going on here? Let me see. I don't. Can I scroll? Oh, I can scroll. Andy Fanning, what's up, Cuz? How you doing, brother? Holy cow! Oh wow! Really? Really, Josh? Seriously? Oh wow! That's all I get. Oh wow! You're killing me, son. Killing me, buddy. What else we got here? We got everybody here. Rick Snail. Holy cow. What's up, Rick? Good to see you, man. Wow. A lot happening here. So, all right, next. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. This thing. I have to pull up my article here. Uh, maybe I shouldn't pull up my article here. Let's get outdoors. Not Mike Russell. Not Mike Russell. What's everybody doing this weekend? Everybody getting outdoors? You guys sitting on Facebook? Come on. What's going on? Talk to me. Talk to me, talk to me. What do you guys got going on? I gotta scroll up. Right. Try not to. There we go. Yes. Who also wrote an article about Bill Cosby too? <sighs> He's going to court. Doctor Huxtable's going to court. Wow. He'll get off. Absolutely, he'll get off. I mean, it's no evidence. It's just all forty women with the same story. Walks like a duck, quacks like a duck. But no evidence. Sad. And he's a celebrity. Which is going to help him quite a bit. I am sweating like a you-know-what in church. Hang tight. There we go. Back me. Hey, go ahead. So I got that done, too. Oh, Becky's here. How are you? Simon, why are you loading bullets? Oh, you're at the three-gun? Next match is June 18th at 8 p.m. I want to try three gun. I'm excited. Oh, we're coming back. Here we go. All right. Doing it now. Yes, it is Get Outdoors with Mike Russell on 92.3 FM and Facebook Live. Check it out. We're just going to keep on going through here. Why not? I promised you Sheriff Babu. You, you got a, uh, he had a little uh, suggestion for your family vacation. If you wanted to hang out anywhere in Pinal County the beautiful county of Pinal County. He said, for the fam, bring firearms. The sheriff of Pinal County said, if you are going to anywhere in Pinal County, you need to bring guns. Be armed. He said, uh, apparently it's a big thing between rival drug, uh, drug cartel members and things like that, that, uh, that they're stealing like they'll see a drug runner come across with the you know the like big old drug backpacks on we've seen on the news I'm running doing one of these things right they'll jump those guys and take their stuff basically you know kick them in the pills and take their lunch money but at a very bigger scale 
So those cartels are, are hiring snipers to take out the people that are trying to take out and take the stuff. Of the, it's bananas. Absolutely bananas. It got so bad that the sheriff said, come down with firearms. I wrote in. I wrote an article uh, about this. He didn't encourage people like, "Come on down and help me fight." He just said, "Look, if you're going camping, if you're going to be out hiking, things like that, best to be armed." That's how bad it is. So I penned a little article for KTR.com. It's on the Mike Russell page, not the not the uh, Get Outdoor Show page, and people lost their minds. Here's what I suggest, and I'm can I and I have to be a little a little snarky here. <laughs> That's my show. I can be snarky. Read the article. Do it before you comment. I love comments, by the way. I read them. I, 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 I don't think we're allowed to reply because that's going to get just all kind of crazy unless it's on my Facebook page. But the uh, the comments that I'm getting are kind of covered in the article. I said this should have been better off had he simply just had a PSA. Look, things are bad down here. If you want to come to Pinal County, fine. But look, it's dangerous. And here's why it's dangerous. Okay? I don't like the sheriff suggesting that you bring firearms. Because here's the deal. This is Arizona. People that have firearms are going to have firearms with them anyway. I don't go out in the desert without a firearm. I don't drive across the desert without a firearm. I do very little without a firearm. So you don't have to tell me. I'm already, I already got that covered. Where I'm worried, where I was concerned was that people thought that, because people hear what they want to hear, especially when it comes from a sheriff. Sheriff's telling me I gotta have a gun. And what that does is to people that don't practice with their firearms, to people that don't don't uh, run through different scenarios with their firearms, what that does is having a firearm lulls them into a false sense of security. They think they're Jason Bourne all of a sudden. And maybe not going on the attack, but you think that I have the gun, I'm safe. What that simply means is that if you go down to Pinal County and you stop and buy your first firearm on the way down, you versus cartel, cartel wins. I would just say stay away. And that's why I said that the sheriff got it wrong. The sheriff just got it wrong. The sheriff could have said, and if you are a firearm owner and you are coming camping, hiking, hunting, fishing, whatever, in Pinal County, I suggest that you take a refresher hunter safety course or a firearm safety course before you come down. Go to the range. Familiarize yourself. You know what I mean? Don't just, hey, if you come, come with a gun. I don't like that. I don't like it. I think I think you messed up on that one. I think Sheriff Babu is a good cat. I, I don't, I, I have nothing wrong with him. I just, he, I think he messed this one up, right? Speaking of messing up, I was a big fan of the documentary, and you can check it out on, I believe, Netflix. It's called Fed Up. Fed Up is about uh, basically the sugar industry. In our country. It was done by Katie Couric and somebody else. So it was Katie Couric had the name, so everybody, oh, i got to check it out. And it turned out to be a really good documentary. I suggest you check it out. If you're into the kind of the stuff you put into your body, I suggest you check it out. She teamed up, Katie Couric teamed up with the same crew and wanted to take on the gun industry in the United States. Right? Uh, okay. You have my attention. Okay? A, because the first documentary was great. And now she wants to talk guns in America? You have my attention. I will check it out. Until they got busted. Because this was definitely not going to be a very pro-gun documentary. I thought it might be fair until I saw the editing that was done. She had a uh, kind of a discussion, a little roundtable with some experts from the, the firearm industry, maybe scholars, things like this, right? And she asked them a question. And this is what this is how it turned out. This is exactly how it sounded. When it was when it was aired on her documentary. And now everyone's staring down at the ground like they don't have an answer, like they're stumped. And they play the dramatic music. Everyone's stumped and like shocked, right? What they found was the raw audio. They found the raw audio that did not make it, and check this out, a little bit different. Immediate answers. Everyone starts chiming in with immediate answers. Not how it aired. See, immediate answers like, look, we're talking common sense. 
We're talking common sense. We're common sense people. We know answers to these silly lefty questions. We got it. But she edited it out. No answers at all. Just have them staring, looking like a bunch of idiots at the ground. You lost me, Katie. You lost your journalistic integrity. It's bad. I don't like that. Look, I will have a, a firearm, a, a gun rights, any Second Amendment conversation with anyone. With anyone. I, it just Let's just talk. As long as we're going to be adults, we're going to be grown-ups, and we're going to look each other in the eye, and we're going to respect each other and each other's opinion, and know that we probably won't convert the other two, but let's have a conversation. I do with Pat McMahon almost on a weekly basis. It just, let's have a conversation. Don't get deceptive. Don't be shady, because the masses will believe you, especially don't believe Katie Couric. Who doesn't believe Katie Couric? She was America's little sweetheart anchor. She was, she, she's amazing, but she got caught being shady. This sunk Dan Rather. It, unfortunately, I hope this sinks her. I don't wish ill, but I, come on. You can't do this and call yourself a journalist. Just, it's goofy. I, I, don't, I don't like it at all. I, I just think that... that have a con I love this dialogue. Please, let's have a dialogue. You don't like guns? That's fine. I love them. You think guns are the problem? I don't. I think people are the problem. Because once again, my guns sit in my safe, have never opened the safe by themselves, they have never loaded themselves, and gone out and hurt somebody. Take somebody to do that. I triple dare dog my kids, too. There's no way. My, they, my guns are like triple locked. They, 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 they got to want it. They're safe. They are secure. Because we know gun ownership is a right. It's also a huge responsibility. Can I get off my soapbox now? Katie Kirk got me fired up. Woo! Katie, give me, get, don't get me going, girl. I, I appreciate that. We've, we put out an email. We put out an email inv invite for her if she'd like to be on the show, our little humble show here. Uh, if she'd like to come on and talk to us, uh, she can. But she, she has some... Uh, she has some splaining to do. What do you think about that? Go Ricky Ricardo on her. Let's get Eric Boatner in here. I'm very excited about this. Uh, with Canyon Coolers, we're going to talk some Father's Day ideas. And uh, if, if you like Yeti, you are going to love Canyon. And they're local. And they're next. All right, peeps. Got to run. Got to go get our people. See you later. Thanks for, ha thanks for hanging out.